everyone, how's your week? These days, I have been preparing for the BBS and buying so many stuff and think about the game or time that we will have fun together. But at the same time, I just look back for our online worship service and small group. It has been almost a year. Um, wait, more than a year, actually. And can you believe it? I'm so sad we could not gather in for the worship and play together for a year. But at the same time, I am so happy to know you more deeply and we always hurry up to finishing the small group on time, right? At the Hotel Pennsylvania. But these days, I am so happy to know you more in the QT meeting, in the, your small group and your prayer. So like this, we have something bad happens to us, like the pandemic, we can't not gathering, but it turns out a good thing or a good moment. We start to share the prayer request, we start to do the QT together, and then we're doing the early morning prayer together, right? Have you ever like this moment? Like you cannot read a book at the very first day of the school or even preschool, pre-K or kindergarten, but it makes you try harder as you grow up than you can read a whole book, right? Or you cannot do well on the test of your school, but it made you try harder. So on your next, you did it great, right? Well, this is, we are going to see in the Bible story. When Paul went to the second missionary journey for the mission to encouraging the churches, from his first trip. Um, he's ready to go. Are you guys ready to go with the Paul? Before we go to meet the Paul, please all rise up. Praise God with all our hearts. <laughs>
of Acts chapter 16, but we're going to read just one verse together. Verse 31. Are you guys ready? Let's read one voice. They said to him, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved and you and all the people in your house. God's people say, Amen. Paul was with the Barnabas for their first missionary journey, but this time he was with Silas. 
Today went to the Syria and Sicilia, encouraging the believers and strengthening church. The number of the Christian and the churches increased daily. And they went to the place that God told them. And they followed the Holy Spirit leading. And every place they went, they taught them and baptized them. And they were doing great commission that Jesus gave the disciples. The early church sent Paul and Silas to check on the new believers. Paul and Silas traveled to the new churches. All the churches were getting stronger and more people believed in Jesus every day. One night, Paul saw a vision. A vision is like a dream, but Paul was awake. In the vision, God told Paul to go to Macedonia. God wanted Paul to share the gospel with the people there. So Paul went to Macedonia. He and those with him stopped for a few days in a city called Philippi. On the Sabbath day, Paul and his friends went to the river to pray. Some women were there, and Paul started talking to them. A woman named Lydia was listening, and God opened her heart to accept what Paul was saying. Lydia and everyone in her household believed and they were baptized. On another day, Paul and Silas were on their way to pray, and a servant girl met them. She had a spirit in her that allowed her to predict the future. She earned a lot of money for her masters by telling the future. The girl followed Paul and Silas, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God. She followed them for many days. Finally, Paul turned and said to the spirit in her, By the power of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. And the spirit came out right away. Now the girl's owners were upset because she could no longer tell the future. They grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them to the authorities. They complained about Paul and Silas. Paul and Silas were beaten and thrown into jail. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs to God. The other prisoners were listening. All of a sudden, a violent earthquake shook the foundation of the jail. All the doors flew open and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up and saw the prison doors open. He thought the prisoners had escaped, so he took out his sword and was about to take his own life. Don't hurt yourself, Paul said. We are all here. The jailer rushed inside and fell down in front of Paul and Silas. He was very afraid. Then he took Paul and Silas outside. Men, what must I do to be saved? He asked. They said to him, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. The jailer and everyone in his household believed and they were baptized. The jailer brought Paul and Silas into his house and fed them. Later that day, Paul and Silas were set free. Lydia, the jailer, and many others were saved because they believed in Jesus. Jesus offers us salvation as a gift. He did all the work to save us by dying on the cross. We do not need to earn salvation. We can just receive it by repenting and trusting in Jesus. Even if we do God's mission, follow the God's will, it comes out bad happen. Why? Even if we are in hard times, is this really God's will? Can you still trust it? Well, today, Paul and Silas follow the God's calling. They follow the where the Holy Spirit leading. They did not anything wrong. They just spread the good news. It's good for God. But Paul and Silas were thrown in the prison. Uh-oh, this happened to Christians a lot back in those days. Some people did not like what Paul and Silas did. They thought they are confused all the society, all the people for what they believe, what they are belonging. So they met one servant guard today. She had a special spirit that telling the future, telling about the future. It made a lot of money for her owner, but she followed the Paul and Sila, and Paul called the spirit out of her in the name of Jesus. Then what happened? 
the owner of the servant got so mad. Why? Because she left. She could not tell a fortune anymore. Could not make money either. So the owner sued Paul and Sila and put them in a jail. They didn't anything do wrong, right? Paul and Sila actually helped her and save her in the name of Jesus. They were good. They did only follow Jesus' instruction of his commission. Why they had to go in a jail? I don't know about you, but to me, it sounds really bad day, right? I might say that God, why did you do that to us? Nothing wrong with us. We just follow you, God. But what happened next will definitely surprise. Paul and Sala sang in the prison. Wow, can you hear that? In the prison, they praised God and pray God. It sounds very weird. If you were in the prison, why would you sing and being happy? Probably not. I could not. I could not do that. You and me would be scared and nervous and blame to God. But Paul and Sila trust in God. So they had nothing to worry about. So they prayed and sang so loud that everybody in prison heard that. They might think Paul and Sila were crazy. What are they doing? This is jail. God abandoned you. But something even crazier happened. God made an earthquake and break all the chain. That earthquake made all the doors fall of the jail cells and all the chains were fell off. Now they're free. They could run away, but they did not. They just stay there. They just looked what happened. And jailer heard the sounds, right? He came to the Paul and Sila, the place that the sinners and crimers were there. And he was shocked because he might lose his job. What if like the people who were in the prison, they were run out? Oh my God, I couldn't not imagine. But Paul, Use the bad situation, turn into the good news. Even if he were in a jail, he was singing and praise and trust God and also spread a good news. God made earthquake. Why? Because he knew the Paul and Sila did not anything wrong. They trust God and they sing and praise and pray to God. So God came and help them. So people in the jail, and they could all see how powerful God is. So Paul and Sila told them about Jesus. All of them listened what Paul said, especially the jailer, whole family become a Christian. Yay! They heard about Jesus and saw how powerful God is and asked he could follow God. God used all the situation, even bad for his good. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Dreamland, repeat after me. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Dreamland, Paul and Silas knew that Jesus is trustworthy and good. God is trustworthy and good. They knew that all anyone needs to be saved is faith that Jesus is their Lord and Savior. The gospel, the good news is for everyone. And the greatest love story is for everyone, no matter who we are, no matter where we are, God is good all the time. So please don't be panicked that something had a bad happens. Simply trust Jesus. He is good all the time. Amen? Amen. Put your hands together. Close your eyes. Thank you for knowing that all the situation that we faced is in your plan, in your work. God, you're good all the time, even if Paul and Sala were in a jail. 
and there were and the hard time from others. But you came to the earth, not only for us, but also the people who hate you or the people who were in a jail, people who against you. God, please help us to not to play favorites and love them with your love and share the good news to everyone. And please help us not to be panicked and not to be afraid, not to losing our faith in bad happens comes. Lord, Please help us to be trust in you. Have a faith in you when we face a bad happens. And praise you no matter what we faced. Thank you, Lord. You're good all the time. All the time, you're good. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's do Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. We pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive the sins we have done just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. And do not cause us to be tested, but save us from the evil one. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Amen.